What's going on, Wash Fam? Today we have something a little different in store. We're gonna clean this roof. It's mostly ladder work. We're gonna be getting up for some of that front section up there. We have to get up there. There's um, no possible way to hit it from the ground, but this video is gonna be a complete roof wash process. So I'm not gonna do any fancy editing. I'm just gonna let the camera roll and you guys can pretty much see the entire process of a roof wash. So I'm gonna slap this camera on my chest and we're gonna get started. We got Chris ready to water. I'm gonna be spraying the chem from the ladder in the ground. Without further ado, let's just get this job done and start the timer. All right, so this customer specifically requested we don't rock, we don't walk the roof. Um, you know, there's a big thing going on in this community. Oh, it's so bad to walk these roofs. And um, I'm not, I, I try to educate them, but I'm not gonna argue with them if they want to do this process from the ground and ladder work, then um, I'm gonna charge a little bit more. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but they're so scared that the tiles are gonna break that they just, you know, wanna go forward with that. So that's totally fine. I'm gonna start on the other end. Yeah, on the other end. All right, so as you can see, that side is uh, done. We'll check later if it needs any any type of touch-ups, but um, we have, we're doing a house wash, a gutter wash. We applied 3% on the roof. These roofs are fairly new, so um, they don't need a crazy strong mix. I've cleaned plenty of them already. They don't need a six, a five. Three is the sweet spot. Sometimes it'll need a little touch up, but um, we're just gonna do a coat or two of 3%. And typically I would drop my percentage for the house wash and the gutters, but because we're doing this from the ground, I'm getting all the gutters and stuff hit with 3% anyway. So I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't recommend this if you're alone especially, but because Chris is watering everything right behind me, we're just speeding up the process by putting a little stronger mix on the gutters and house that we would typically do. But I'm just clearing that part up. But for the, for the most part, this video is just gonna be on this roof wash to show you guys what it's like to hit it from the ground and ladder. We're gonna actually get the ladder. So for ladder work, as you just saw, that's pretty much what I'll do. Just hit a section um, as far as I can, bring the ladder down to just about where I stopped hitting and then move forward. And obviously this is slower than just walking the whole roof, but it's also not too bad, especially with a flat tile roof. I'm able to hit everything just from, like with barrel tile, you have to kind of be at different angles. Um, with this flat tile, it pretty much runs down and completely saturates everything. So again, just doing the same thing, starting at the top, getting that peak really well, letting it trickle down. Get these close areas out of the way. So, no soap for this one. Don't really need it. It probably would cling a little better, but um, it's not It's not 100% necessary. When I run out of soap, I'm in no rush to really restock. Some people can't live without it. Um, I. I've cleaned so much stuff without soap before surfactant was even like a huge thing. There was only a couple brands doing it, but 
anyway, moving on this side, we only had to move the ladder, you know, for this side of the roof, only uh, two, three different spots. So doing it this method is not a bad gig. And I know a lot of the front I'll be able to do without the ladder. I just can't hit this side without the ladder because the other house is so close to it. I can't get a good view, you know, even all the way backed up to the other house. So that's why we're using the ladder. But this gas soft wash system would absolutely spray right over this entire house if I could see it. I just can't see with that house in the way. I'm sure it's a little difficult to even see on the camera how the roof is coming out um, after we're done, you know. You can see how dirty it is. Not 10 out of 10 bad, but it does have growth on it. Once we finish up, I'll get you guys a better view so you can see the final product. Lightly go over everything. And that's it, another side down, we're moving on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moving on to the next section, and just like that, we have one coat on the roof. I mean, one coat on that section. Give it a little more, just a tiny bit, and boom. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna water with Chris. Um, just take, take precaution to the plants. So I'll hit this, it's, I just switched my remote system over to water, so I still have 200 feet of chem in the line. So I'm gonna hit this little section, um, and then we'll be close to water. And then I'll start helping Chris just soaking everything with water, rinsing down really thoroughly. Okay, I think we are getting close to water. Yep, we are on water. Let it cycle through a little bit more and then I'll start spraying these plants. But I'm sure, I'm sure you guys noticed a couple things. All right, uh, I should say it like this. I want you guys to notice a couple things. This gas soft wash system makes your efficiency boost way higher. Some people like the reliability of a 12 volt and that's totally fine. Um, I, I took on this gas soft wash knowing I would repair it because when it does run, um, you cannot beat it. Like for house washes, for roof washes, and people say, oh, you know, you're slinging way too much chlorine, but I would rather be putting out a little bit more chlorine than you know, spending two to three hours extra on a job site. 
Um, and with that said, even with that said, I don't, I really don't use, now that I've learned the, the finesse of this system, I really don't use that much more chemical than I would with a 12 volt. Like just because a 12 volt is five to seven GPM, you know, you're still, you still have to put a good amount of material on a roof to get it completely clean. Um, this is just, this soft wash system is just doing that in a, a much quicker time as you see. Like if we were not doing this ladder work, um, I would be close to done treating this roof and we would be, you know, moving on to, to post soaking, hitting all the vegetation, rinsing down the house. Um, it's just crazy how much difference there is between the two soft wash systems. And the second thing to my guys that are solo out there, you know, if you've been on the channel for a long, a long time, I've been, you've seen me go through phases where I'm solo washing for a while. And then you see me go through phases where I have people with me. Uh, Chris, my brother is officially back with me. So the gang's all here, but also having a second guy for a roof wash just a second guy in general is obviously going to boost your efficiency but because roof washes are time critical you know and you need you need water going as you are spraying the chemical it's just much more ideal with a second machine second person um, but that is just something for you guys to consider who are solo you know look into maybe make it part of some of your next upcoming goals to hire someone, get a ground guy, get some more help. I've tried to take on, you know, I've tried to take on the world with pressure washing and do everything on my own. It's just not the correct way, obviously. You need to outsource a lot of stuff. So I'll stop ranting about that. We're gonna get everything we're just getting everything soaked with water. Rinsing the gutters. These house washes, like I said, um, these houses are very new, super clean already. So as far as chemical goes for these ones, we just spot treat pretty much. Um, I'm not applying every square inch of stucco with chlorine and that's just because it simply does not need it. Um, and on top of that, I've already cleaned this house. This is like my fourth or fifth time back to this exact property. But whatever the case may be, this house is looking clean, roof is looking clean, and we are getting it done. I kind of enjoy this style of video, just throwing the camera on for you guys um, and literally bringing you on a day at the work site. There's going to be very little editing, like I said. It's just going to be a raw video for you guys that are watching pressure washing content at night, cuddled up in bed with your booth hang and you don't want some five minute video, you want some 45 minute video of washing. So that's what this one is gonna be. We'll put some water up here, reactivate the cam a little bit. Um, but once we finish doing a full coat on everything, we'll obviously reevaluate from there, see what needs a second coat. But from what it's looking like, a lot of this stuff is not going to need a second coat and that's because this roof is fairly new and it's not too dirty. All right. What are we at time-wise? So I've been filming for 23 minutes and we're about, 
I would say two thirds of the way done. I'm gonna switch back to chemical. Get the hot sauce running through the system. Gotta rinse this 200 feet of water out of the system. So, get the windows wet. Just utilize this 200 feet of water. It's typically about a minute, minute or less on the trigger. Uh, maybe less actually, maybe 45 seconds-ish. But once I know I'm getting closer, you know, I'm just gonna run it on the house right here into the mulch that's already soaked anyway. So it's not a huge deal. Juice is coming out, we're good to go. I don't know why I have to second guess myself and check and touch it every time, but. Oh yeah, so I, this is looking good. Not dirty at all. That's good to know. I thought I was gonna have to get up for that section right there that I'm spraying. I'm still gonna have to get up for a few sections, but very little. So we'll get to that bend right there. We'll get this guy while we're at it. let Chris know to go wet these gutters. Alrighty. All right, we're out of water. So I am gonna pause the video so you guys don't have to see us uh, sit in the truck and talk about nonsense. I just flipped this system over to water. Um, so we're gonna flush it out. Water's filling up. It is extremely slow at this property. The, the flow on the outdoor spigots is terrible, but regardless, I'm gonna finish this roof. I got Kim pushing this water out right now. So we're getting this 200 feet of water out of the line and then we'll be right back where we left off. It's been super windy down here. So fortunately this morning for this job, given you know we have to do it from the ladder and the ground it actually isn't nearly as windy as we've been getting so that's nice um but let's keep rocking and rolling Still a little windy, as you can see, but not near as bad as it's been the last couple of days. Alrighty, just like that. Just like that, we are moving on go move the ladder one more time and everything besides a little section in the front that I have to get up on the roof will be done. This roof is almost there. So 
don't know who it is, so please leave me a text or a voicemail. And that's my personal phone, you guys. That is not my business number. On my personal phone, if I don't know who is calling, I will not answer. All right. There you go. Now you can see the wind. But this roof, this section is treated. Let's move on. I'm gonna slap the ladder um, a little bit down where we were, get up there, and then spray that last section. I'll just hop up right here take a few steps on the roof. I told him I have to take a little bit of, you know, I have to walk a little bit of it, very little to get this roof clean. Which he was fine with. He liked that better than me walking the whole roof. But like we already discussed, I really never have issues especially on a flat tile roof with cracking anything. But I'm not going to argue. I'm going to get the job done and charge a little extra for the extra efforts, which is 100% fair. That's it. Roof is treated. Um, nothing needs a second coat. You know, this growth was not bad at all. I'm just going to spray some water. Not thoroughly rinse it down. I don't claim to thoroughly rinse the roof down. But, and I mean I don't claim to my customer that I'm thoroughly rinsing the roof down, but I do just like to add a little solid, a little solid coat of water, get that dried up chemical off there, add a little dilution to the uh, roof, and I don't go crazy with it. As you can see, I'm dang near done with this side. I just like to, one, reactivate a little bit, reactivate the chem doing this, and two, like I said, get some sort of dilution going on up here and oh that uh, back wind is helping me out probably hit this left and right panel these left and right sides from right here And this, this system, you guys, is cranked like way down. You can see how powerful it is right now. And this is, I'm telling you, at 25% of, it, of its potential for a roof wash. And pretty much any, any instance, I don't need, I don't need 100% of this gas soft wash system especially when you're soft washing like just applying and you have the pressure washer you do not need to go crazy on the psi and try to get the max flow out of this thing it's just not necessary We got a little spot, a few little spots that you can see um, on the on the top edges. Um, there's a little bit of organic growth, but I'm not too worried about it because everywhere else that I let it sit, um, it went away. So 
I'll take a look at the end if I need to reapply anything, but because, you know, every other spot with a longer dwell time actually took care of it, I don't think I'll need to do any type of second coat. But we'll finish putting some water on this roof, make it look nice and pretty. get down and be done. Once I get down, I'll uh, put some water on the vegetation, on the siding, on the windows, just completely soak everything before we call this job officially done. Chris is gonna finish up the house wash um, while, I, while I go rinse everything down, like I said. We did upsell a house wash, kind of spot cleaning type deal. Um, won't cover that too much. But let's get on down, rinse some plants, and wrap this video up. This is nice. Uh, now that I've got you guys here, this is the Kyle Davis shooter tip, and this is literally my first time using this thing. I just bought it a few days ago. I bought this combination that you're seeing um, this is this section's mine I, I built this it's just a uh, 3 8 to quarter just to connect tips directly from the ball valve but this is from Sailfish soft wash down in South Florida you guys are in South Florida check out Sailfish soft wash they are new and they are officially the best best supply shop, best pressure washing store in my area. Like we were kind of lacking someone up to date with this industry. Um, you know, a lot of the places were paint and pressure, um, but this is a company that has been in the wash industry for years, family owned business. They know what they're doing. They are been pressure washing much longer than me. Um, check them out though. There are some awesome people over there and they can help you out with any of your questions, any of your equipment needs, build you a full rig. Um, they have softwares to, you know, make a blueprint of your build that you would like and they just, they've got it going on over there. Awesome people. Check them out. As far as the roof wash goes, we're finished up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, that's our process. That's how we're doing things now. Um, very similar to what we've been doing if you watched the channel before, but um, just little tweaks here and there, like especially for this community where sod is just dying. Like typically, to be honest, I don't run into issues spraying 3% with grass if I dilute it enough and neutralize it enough, but this community um, is just a different story. So we're gonna take a different approach to it now. Anyways, I'm gonna help Chris out. We got a little bit of the house wash to finish. Roof's done, roof's good to go. Appreciate you guys coming. I will see y'all in the next one. As always, much love YouTube. Peace.